And joining us now is Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff of California. He's the chair of the House Intelligence Committee. And Chairman Schiff, we heard President Biden today say clearly uh, Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. Does that mean that intelligence indicates that the targeting we are seeing in Ukraine is deliberate and can be proved to be deliberate targeting of civilians, including babies and every other age group? I think the president's statement was really from the heart. Uh, his sense, which I agree with, that Putin is a war criminal, uh, that he has now the blood of children on his hands. Um, I think it was more of a human statement than it was a, a legal statement. But uh, but I think it's pretty clear, Lawrence, any way you slice it, that these uh, this bombing is indiscriminate uh, at, at best, uh, and at worst, deliberately targeting civilian structures. Um, and I do think that uh, that he has committed war crimes, uh, and he ought to be held accountable. Um, but uh, but first of all, we have to do everything we can to help the Ukrainian people. And I think administration is doing a great deal, and we'll be doing more. What was your reaction to being in the room today uh, with President Zelensky delivering that historic address? Well, it was one of those few times uh, in recent memory where. It would be hard to tell Democrats from Republicans. I think we were all very moved by what he had to say and uh, and also by those images of uh, civilians being killed. And to me, among the most uh, staggering was uh, the image of a father holding the hand of his deceased child in a hospital. Um, hard to, to see that and not be moved, not want to do everything to move heaven and earth to bring this uh, war, Putin's war of aggression to an end. Uh, so I think we all left with even greater resolve to do what we can to support Ukraine in its time of need, uh, to rebolster its defenses, um, and also provide uh, even more sanctions on Russia for this heinous act of terror. I want to put up in the screen uh, an outline of what President Biden has announced is being sent to Ukraine now, and 9,000 anti-armor systems, including 2,000 javelins, 800 anti-aircraft systems, 7,000 small arm machine guns, shotguns, grenade launchers, 20 million rounds in ammunition, 100 switchblade killer drones, other military equipment. Uh, with your knowledge of the utility uh, of these things, uh, what do you see as the most important elements of that package? I think the most important elements are the anti-aircraft munitions that will help Ukraine shoot down Russian planes, uh, but also keep uh, Russian planes uh, from uh, owning the skies, uh, which would accelerate uh, the uh, Russian land operations. Um, I also think the anti-tank weapons have been used by Ukraine, Ukraine to great effect, uh, taking out tanks, taking out other armed vehicles. And now uh, the the provision of drones, um, the, the you know, public reporting about the Turkish drones being utilized to great effect by Ukrainian forces, uh, and uh, the provision now of the drones from the United States only adding to Ukraine's uh, many capabilities. Chairman Adam Schiff, thank you very much for joining us once again tonight. We always appreciate it. Thank you.